everybody to the 8th Annual Banbury Camera Club Exhibition. Really delighted to see you here. And I don't want to say much more except to well done the club, both the way in which everyone pulled together to put the exhibition up and the incredible diversity and quality of the photographs. To me, it seems to get better every year, but really, I should hand over to our very pleased to have Rosie Burke here, well known in Banbury in all sorts of areas. <laughs> 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 and colour and quality and cropping and all those sorts of boring sounding words when really I just wanted to be artistic and do whatever I fancied. But it was so useful what I learned from coming to, to Camera Club. I want to congratulate you all because I think this is a smashing exhibition and every year it's got better and better but this year it is really superb and the quantity and the quality is astounding, um, completely completely wonderful. And I've marked 18 pictures of my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, I wanted to say thank you all for your talents and for displaying them for our enjoyment really because coming to the exhibition as a visitor gives people so much pleasure. And I think I love exhibitions with quantity. I don't like white space. I want to see lots of art and artwork and photographs and this is exactly what you can see here, just masses of talent, it's great. And thank you to all the souls that put it up because I know what hard work it is and my favourite job I didn't do this year which is trying to get the dust out <laughs> <laughs> which is totally infuriating. Um, so yeah, congratulations to all of you. Um, the, the things I learned at Camera Club have been a great help to me because after winning the uh, Country Fire Judges Prize in 2005, for the past three years I've been a judge of it. And so um, last year it was 65,000 pictures between eight of us. And this year it was 55,000 pictures between eight of us. And it takes from half past eight or nine o'clock in the morning till seven o'clock at night to go through that massive quantity of pictures. And if these pictures had been in there, I would have been a much happier bunny than the grumpy old woman that I was. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Because, as I say when they do interviews sometimes on camera, please join your local camera clubs because there's so much to learn, there's so much interest there. And just knowing those sorts of things makes a difference between a snap and some really fantastic piece of art, but you all know that from going to uh, the competitions. So, um, yeah, this year we did that quantity of pictures, and last year the calendar raised 1.2 million for BBC Children in Need, which is amazing, isn't it? Um, just a fantastic thing. So I just want to say how much I've enjoyed this exhibition. I should come back when it's quieter. <laughs> uh, to go round again and no doubt find more than 18 pictures. So yeah, thank you all very much and thank you for asking me to open such a wonderful thing. Thanks, Rosie. And afterwards, I will ask you which photographs you thought should have won this year if it wasn't the one that did win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I was, thank you. I'd like to hand, introduce Carol Naden from Catherine House Hospice. 
for whose benefit this exhibition is being held, as you will have read, that the sale of prints here, the money goes in the main to Catherine House, and last year we managed to raise nearly a thousand pounds. We're hoping we can raise a bit further this year. Kathy. I wasn't here last year, but Josh came and made his speech, and he said he would come again this year as long as I didn't make him make a speech. <laughs> <laughs> but I will tell you, he progressed from a mouse in the Christmas pantomime to the lead male role, <laughs> and he is now a fully-fledged assistant cook, so, <laughs> so he's doing brilliantly. Um, the hospice is so grateful for your continued support. If I tell you... the, the the figures for 2011 and 12 is it's going to cost two and a half million pounds to run the hospice for this year, which is six thousand eight hundred and fifty pounds per day. We do get forty percent from the government for, for the um, by the NHS, which means that we have to raise one point five million ourselves, um, which is four thousand one hundred pounds a day. And events we couldn't do it without events like this and your continued support. We've, uh, this year we've um, opened two new family rooms and um, renovated the other two family rooms. So we have, two, we have two single rooms which were in the corridor which weren't ideal and so now the, the inpatient unit is, is enclosed and um, the, the new family rooms are absolutely wonderful, amazing size. You could actually have a family of 20 in there I think, so. but they're, they're wonderful rooms. Um, we also now have a... Um, an, we, we started a home nursing service a few years ago and we now have um, a nurse contracted to work two nights a week. She goes into people's homes and um, looks after, um, gives, the, well, gives the carer a, a night off and, and stays overnight, which is a, an incredibly valuable service because not everybody wants to come into the hospice and, and some people just want to be at home. Um, so it, it is an incredibly val valuable service, but also it's another cost to the hospice. Um, we seem to be as busy than ever on the inpatient unit, and Josh will, will testify to this as he's, he's a cook, that uh, you know, we're continually almost up to capacity all the time, which again is, uh, is a wonderful service, but just proves how, much, how valuable the service is. And, and we also have the, the, our clinical nurse specialists, which were, um, or <laughs> should be called Macmillan nurses, but uh, we have to pay for them now. After three years, um, Macmillan funding stops and we have to pay for them, and, and we've had them for over ten years now. So, um, so again, they go into people's homes and help with advice on benefits and medication, and they're incredibly hard-working. Um, they're just wonderful people as well. Um, so I, that's about it, really. <laughs> But I'd just like to say thank you once again. Your exhibition has improved year on year. It's, it's just amazing. I can't believe how many talented photographers there are in, in the area. Um, I wish you every success with it. And I wish the Banbury Camera Club continued success uh, for many years to come. And I hope you continue supporting Catherine House. Thank you very much. On Saturday evening oh, yes, at Tudor yeah. Hall, there is, yes. which is come into the garden or something like that, yeah. which is music, chamber, a chamber. It's music and, and, and prose. Words, words, yes. one. Um, very uh, <coughs> well recognised actors and actresses. Yes. Um, and I believe there are still tickets available. Eight double one, eight double six. Thanks. Thank you. Any light refreshments still available?